We have some big news here from the Funnel Kit team. Funnel Kit Automations is getting a big update towards the end of December. In this video today, I want to show you a quick overview of some of these features that will be released in this upcoming version. And a lot of these have been highly requested from people in the community. So maybe we've added a feature that you've been waiting for. And with that said, let's get into the first feature, which is to do with our dashboard and our user interface. So the first thing that you're really going to notice here with the new version is just how fast the interface loads. So here I am under Funnel Kit Automations and Dashboard. Any URL that I click on loads instantly. So if we go from here to List and then to Tags and then to Fields and then I go up to Automations and then I click to go into an automation and then I come down here, open up this email, close it. Every click inside of the dashboard loads instantly. So there's no page refreshing and it really is a noticeable difference. As you know, this is your CRM. This is where you're coming in every day and getting data out of it and trying to see what's going on in your store and just being able to click on a screen, have it instantly load is going to make a big difference in your productivity here in your store. For all the people wondering about the technical aspect, the Funnel Kit team have rebuilt every screen here in Funnel Kit Automations using React. And that's why you'll find every screen here just loads super fast without having to refresh the page. The next feature that I wanna show you is contact activity. So here from our dashboard, let's click on automations. And on the left, you'll see two different sub pages. So the first one is automations, and these are all of our different automations here, which you're familiar with. But now there's a second page, contact activity. And if we click on that, you can see all the different events that are going through all of your automations from this one screen and their status. So here we have all the failed, paused, delayed, active, and then the completed events. If we go back to the failed event, over here, we can click and we could retry it. But before you retry an event, what you can do is click over to here on view journey and see how this user went through this automation. And if we keep scrolling down, we can see the event on which they failed. And if we hover on here, it lets us know why that event failed. So this user came down to here and for this event, this send email event has no subject line. And so it failed sending for this user. So knowing we need to add a subject to that email, we could exit out of this click into the automation, scroll down and then find that email and then click on it and then here, give it a subject line, my subject and then click save. And then if we exit out of this and go back to contact activity, there's a failed event. So now that's under delayed and it's also under active. And if we scroll across, we can see when it's next going to run. And that just ran. So if we go to completed, now we can see that event went through. So the brand new contact activity feature is going to make your life a lot easier to see what's happening in your store through your automations, but then also catch those errors, fix them, and then rerun those failed events as you've just seen. The next feature you're going to love is the ability to add contacts into an automation retrospectively. So here's how that works. So here, let's go down to our automations and then click into this post purchase upsell automation for the eyelash curler. So when an order is created, we'll wait 30 minutes and then we'll check what products a customer bought in their cart. And if they bought the eyelash curler, then we'll send them an email with other products related to the eyelash curler to help upsell more products after checkout. So this works great for anyone that buys the eyelash curler today. They will come into this automation. But I had a customer last week buy my eyelash curler and I want to add them into this automation so they see those upsells. So let's go ahead and do that. So I exit out of the automation and then I'll go to contacts and then there they are, Grant Ambrose, my favorite customer. If we go under purchases and then purchase products, we can see that they did in fact buy the eyelash curler. So to add them to the automation, we'll go to actions and then add to automation. Here we will search. There it is, post purchase upsell for the eyelash curler. I'll click on that and then click add. And now if we head on over to automations, we can see I've been added into that automation. And if we go and view the journey, I'm inside that automation and I'm queued at that delay event. After 30 minutes, I will receive that email. So this is a great feature and there's a lot of different use cases where this comes in handy. So these next two features are big ones. So they're both to do with automations. So let's go over to automations and I'll click into this automation here. And if I scroll down and click on the send email event, as an existing FunnelKit user, you might notice something a little bit different. So in the current version of FunnelKit automations, you have rich text, 
raw HTML and visual builder. And now there's a fourth option, which is new visual builder. So this is the brand new email builder built by the funnel kit team from the ground up. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of some of the exciting things you can do within this builder. Now, I am gonna move through this quite fast because there is gonna be a separate video dedicated to looking at the new email builder in depth that will be released once Funnel Kit Automations 3 is released at the end of December. So with that said, let's jump around and just show you some of the things that you can get excited for with this new email builder. So to launch the builder, we'll click start. And the first option here we have is to select a template. So there's quite a few templates here that you can choose from. We're constantly adding more and they cover a range of different emails that you'll be wanting to build for your store. So everything from your standard WordPress WooCommerce emails like new user registration emails all the way through to abandoned cart email templates, asking for testimonials, cross-selling products, sale announcements, sending coupon codes, and all the other ones that you see on your screen. Now, because here inside of this example today, we have an automation for our abandoned cart, we see our abandoned cart templates here. If I go to this one here and click preview, I can see how this is going to look. And when I'm happy, I can click import this template. And now that loads the new email builder. So this is the interface that you are going to grow to love the more you play around with it and the more emails you build. If you've ever used a page builder, it's very similar to that. You have your structure over here, which is your rows and your columns and your sections. You drag from the left over to the right. And then inside of there, you add your blocks inside of that. And it's all inline editing. So let's just say I wanted to make this bold. I could come down and make that bold, increase the font size. I could go and center that text there. I can change the font family. All the things that you'd be wanting to do for your emails is all possible here in this new email builder. Now the styling, that's quite straightforward. And I think you'll get adjusted to that very fast if you've been using this existing visual builder. But where this new visual builder really comes into play is the powerful blocks that you get access to. So over here, we have some WooCommerce blocks here. And these are intelligent blocks, meaning that these will change based on the automation and the trigger that you've used for the automation. So if we were to save this and then exit out of this and close this down, up the top here, this automation triggers when a cart is abandoned. So when you go and build your emails inside this automation, because it knows that you're building emails based on a cart being abandoned, under WooCommerce, we have a block here for cart items. So this is that one here in the template. If I click, this will list all the products in your customer's cart that they have abandoned. If we exit out of that, we also have the cart link, which is this button over here. If I was to drag that over to here, you can see this when it's clicked, it's gonna take your customer back to the checkout and repopulate their cart with their cart items. To show you another example, if we save this and exit out of this and exit and go back to our automations, let's just say we create a second automation and this is gonna be our order receipt email once somebody purchases from our website. So here, let's go start from scratch. I'll name it order receipt email and click create and the trigger will be for when an order status is changed, done. And when an order status changes into processing, so we've successfully taken the payment for any product and a customer can come in here multiple times because they can purchase multiple times. Let's click save. So when that happens, we want to send an email. So we'll add an action for send email and click done. And then down here, go start. And if we scroll down a little bit, we have some order notification emails where this one here, if I click preview, and then click import this template. Now that I'm inside the email builder here, and this automation is triggering based on when a WooCommerce order status changes, you can see under WooCommerce, we have different blocks to what we saw with the abandoned cart automation. So over here, we can output the customer's address details, which is this block down here. Then we also have the order summary, which lists all the information about what our customer purchases. We could add in customer notes down here. And then we also have a coupon block here. If I exit out of this, there is the coupon block and that exists over there. So as you start building your emails and get familiar with this, you're really gonna understand just how powerful this new email builder is. As a quick demo to show you how you'd go and use a new email builder, I'm gonna quickly create an order receipt email that looks like this one here. We're gonna move fast, but in doing so, you'll just see how fast you can build emails in this new email builder and some of the ways in which it works. So I'll go ahead and delete all the content here. So you just click and press delete on your keyboard. So I'll just delete that, delete that, delete that, that as well, that and that. 
So firstly, let's create our logo. So here we have our row, then our section and column. So here inside of that, let's add our image and then click here, select our logo and select image. And I'll scale that down a bit. Under that in structure, let's go up and add a new row. And on this section, I'm gonna change the background color to be a light blue color. And then inside there, let's go ahead and add our heading, order received, and I'll bold that and let's center that. And also let's make that quite large. And then under that, let's add some more text. Hi. So with that text written, let's go ahead and center that. And then over here, let's add our merge tag for the contact's first name. So we'll go here, copy, and we'll paste that in there. Under that, in this, let's go ahead and add a new row. And then inside of here, let's go to our blocks and we're gonna drag in our order summary block. And as you can see out of the box, this just looks so much better than the default WooCommerce email. On the left, you can adjust settings for this block as well. So here we could just turn off the product images if we wanted to do that, but I'm not gonna do that for today's video. We might wanna give that section a heading. So I'll drag that in there. Here's what you ordered. And I'll just make that a little bit larger and let's center that. And let's add some padding on the top as well. Under that, let's go ahead and I'm gonna add a new row down here. And then inside of this, we will go to blocks and let's add our customer's address. And then under that, let's add the customer notes. And then under that, let's go and add a, another row down here. And then inside of there, we're gonna add under blocks our coupon block. Now, when you add a coupon block, this searches all the different coupons in your WooCommerce install. So we could come into here and I could add my surprise 10. But also if inside of this automation, you have an action to create a coupon code, you could come here under automation and then select that dynamic coupon, which would then output here for each user. I'm gonna use a store wide for this example, but you can see when I selected the coupon code here, it updated over here. And so we could go ahead and adjust everything. Again, everything is in line. It's so easy to use. Maybe let's give this a background color just to make it stand out a little bit more. Then on the coupon code here, let's change its background color to be white. Then over here under style, let's go to our button. And then down here, let's increase the padding on the top and the bottom. And then for the heading here, let's increase its font size and make it just a little bit larger. And lastly, I might increase the padding on here to 30 all the way around. And then under that, let's add a, another row here. And maybe we want to give people a coupon code and then let them know of some products they might be interested in. So here, let's go ahead and add a text element into here. Other products you might like, and we'll bold that. I'll increase its font size and then let's center it. And then under that, we could drag a product block into here. And then down here, we could choose products from a specific category or our best selling products from our store. And we might wanna output three products here. And then here, let's go ahead and add some padding on the top and then also at the bottom. And the last thing that I wanna show you is here under layouts, we have pre-made sections or layouts that you can drag into your emails to build up your emails in a more modular way. So here, let's filter our layouts by just our footer layouts. And I like this one here. So let's drag that at the bottom of our email. So it looks like so. And by just doing what I've shown you in this video today, we've just managed to recreate this entire email by dragging and dropping with a coupon code, some of our best selling products here. And this email builder will be available to use to build any emails that FunnelKit Automation sends, including your emails like I've shown you today in your automations, but also your broadcast emails. This email builder is so powerful and we can't wait for you to get access to it. So we're back here under automations. And the next thing that I wanna show you is that you can finally split test inside of your automations. And I know a lot of people out there are very excited to hear that. So let me show you how this works and give you a bit of a teaser into how this not only works when you're setting it up, but some of the ways that you probably want to be using this inside of your automations. So here I have an automation for my abandoned cart. And if we click into it, when somebody abandons their cart, we wait 30 minutes and then we send them an email, wait 12 hours, send them another email, wait 24 hours, another email, then they end the automation. If we come right to the top and look at this first email here, something common that you'll wanna be doing is A-B testing different subject lines to see which ones work better for your store. So to do that, you can now click the plus sign and use this new feature here, split path. If I click this, we can give it a name. I'll call it testing abandoned cart email one subject. 
And then here we could add two or three paths. I'm gonna select two. You could write a hypothesis here. For now, I'm just gonna click add. And now you can see we have two different paths here with our email under it. So let's go ahead and copy this email here and paste it under path A. And then I'll go ahead and copy it from here. And then let's paste it under path B. And I'll just remove this from there. And now going from the top, they abandon their cart, wait 30 minutes, then they go into our split path and then FunnelKit will send some people down path A and then other users will go down path B. So here we could just keep the subject line as it is, but for the email here down path B, let's click and change the subject line. So your cart is saved. Maybe we want to add some urgency. So hurry, your cart is expiring, comma, their name, exclamation mark, and click save and close. And just like that, we're A-B testing the different subject lines here in our automation. If we go up a little bit on the actual split path node in the automation, if we click view results, we can now compare those two paths and see the different analytics for each path here to see which one we want to declare a winner. Whichever one works best for what you're trying to do in your store, you could come over to here and click declare winner and then declare winner. And now if we go ahead and close that, the path that we declared as a winner, er, all the actions and everything that was inside of there has been put here into the main timeline of our automation. The split path node is removed and now we have an optimized automation working better for our store. As a store owner, you're gonna find yourself using that feature a lot within your automations. It's a no brainer, it's an easy way to maximize your profits and at any point in your automation, increase your conversion rate, increase your open rate, and just ultimately make more effective automations for your store. Now, similar to what we're doing with the email builder, with the split path feature, when FunnelKit Automations goes live with version three towards the end of December, there will be a separate video posted that explains in great detail how to use this split path feature. So definitely look out for that one. You're not going to want to miss that. So that's a quick look at some of the features that will be released in the upcoming version of FunnelKit Automations to be released towards the end of December. As you can see, there is a lot to get excited about here. And as an existing FunnelKit Automations user, you are going to love getting access to all of this and setting it up in your store. If you're not currently using FunnelKit Automations, then what are you waiting for? Definitely head to our pricing page to see our current deal. There's quite a bit going on over here at FunnelKit during this holiday season with some big releases all aimed at helping you maximize your profits with your WooCommerce store.